Today the topic is the Mikel point. Generally there exist two Mikel points, one for a triangle and one for a quadrilateral. First we're going to see what it is for a triangle. So suppose we have a triangle and on each side we choose one point at random. Then we construct these three circles, this circle, this circle, and this circle. We're going to prove that these three circles intersect at one point and we're going to call it the Mikel point. So I took this circle and this circle and I intersected them at this point. Now we only need to prove that this quadrilateral here is cyclic, because that would mean that the third circle here that passes through this point, this point, and this point, also passes through this one. And so this will be the Mikel point. Well, let's chase some angles. Suppose this angle here is alpha. Then the angle here is 180 minus alpha. Now because this quadrilateral here is cyclic, we have that this angle plus this angle is 180, and so this angle here is alpha. And so this angle is 180 minus alpha. Now this quadrilateral here is cyclic. And so this angle plus this angle is 180. And so we got that this angle is alpha. And so this one is 180 minus alpha. And what did we get? We got that in this quadrilateral here, the sum of the two of the opposite angles is 180 degrees. And therefore, it's cyclic. And hence, these three circles all pass through the same point, the Mikel point. Okay, now suppose that this is a quadrilateral, and then we can continue its sides until they intersect, for example, here and here. And then we get four triangles. There are four triangles in this picture. This one, this one, this one, and this one. And the circumcircles of all these four triangles happen to always pass through this one point, that's somewhere in this region here. And it's called the Mikel point of this quadrilateral. And now we're going to prove this. So suppose I construct the circles around this triangle, so the circumcircle of this triangle, which is this one, and the circumcircle of this larger triangle, which is this one. And they intersect here at this point. Now we're going to prove that this quadrilateral is cyclic, which would mean that the circumcircle of this triangle passes through this point, and that this quadrilateral is cyclic, which would mean that the circumcircle around this triangle also passes through this point. So let's chase some angles again. Suppose that this one is alpha. Then this one here is 180 minus alpha. Now this quadrilateral here is cyclic. And because this is 180 minus alpha, then this one should be alpha. And now we can look at this cyclic quadrilateral here. We know that this angle is alpha, so this one should be 180 minus alpha. And finally, this angle here should be alpha. And so if we consider this quadrilateral now, we have that this angle here equals this angle here, equals alpha. And so it must be cyclic. So now we have this picture. The only thing left to prove is that the quadrilateral here, this one, is cyclic. So now suppose that this angle here is beta. Then, because of this cyclic quadrilateral here, we know that this angle here is also beta. And now, because of this cyclic quadrilateral here, we have that this angle is beta, and so this angle here is also beta. But that's exactly what we needed. Because now this angle equals this angle. And because these two are equal, in this quadrilateral, we know that it must be cyclic. And so we proved it. The four circles, the circumcircles of this triangle, this triangle, this triangle, and this triangle, all pass through the same point. And this we call the Mikel point of this quadrilateral. And now the optional problem. Suppose we have a cyclic quadrilateral. So remember last time we worked with any quadrilateral and now we work with a cyclic one. And then we intersect the pairs of opposite sides in these two points here. And we need to prove that the Mikel point for this quadrilateral actually lies on this line here. And here's the solution. Suppose that I take the circumcircle of this triangle, so this circumcircle, and suppose that I intersect it here with this line. Then if the problem is correct, this should be the Mikel point. So I just need to prove that the circumcircle of this triangle passes through the same point on this line. And then I'll be done, because the intersection of this circumcircle and this circumcircle is the Mikel point. So I took this circumcircle of this triangle, and I intersected it here. And now we only need to prove that this quadrilateral here is cyclic. But wait, do you see that in this triangle, we chose three points at random on its sides, and then we constructed the circumcircle of this triangle, which is this circle, the circumcircle of this triangle, which is this circle, and they intersect here. 
And so this must be the Michel point of this triangle with respect to these three points. And therefore, this is a cyclic quadrilateral because the third circle, the circumcircle of this triangle, should also pass through the Michel point, like this.